Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and we're here with another episode of Prehistoric Kingdom. We're still building in the Alpha right now, and we're going to build a habitat for the Tyrannosaurus Rex, T-Rex. And uh, first, I really wanted to do something with a volcano inside of the habitat of the T-Rex, but I actually felt like this would look better just in the middle of our park. We really have some great sight lines from all the habitats towards the volcano, to be honest. I did not include all the viewings uh, towards the volcano at the end of this video, but I will definitely uh, keep you guys posted with that in a later stage uh, when we're doing the tour, I'm guessing, from this park. So we started with a river through the map to get a little bit of an idea of where I want a river to be. Like, if I keep continuing to um, add habitats without any river, then everything will still feel like all different types of habitats and not really having anything else. Uh, but I wanted to uh, avoid doing the whole map in the end because I had the feeling like, if this alpha stage is going to end soon, I want to make sure that I at least have all the animals in the habitat first before I continue doing any other terrain forming and those kind of things. So as I said, in the middle of the habitat, there will be a volcano and it was quite a thing to build that volcano. Like I'm still trying to get used to the terrain too, but it still went really fast to be completely honest. And I wanted to fill the whole volcano with some trees and bushes, but it actually didn't look as well as I thought. Also mainly because the brush uh, puts like everything down straight and not like aligned to the terrain, if that makes any sense. So it looked very odd to be completely honest. And I actually wanted to get like this really overgrown feeling of the volcano. But yeah, unfortunately that just didn't really uh, work out as I wanted to. But I, I think those kind of things will also be tweaked in a later stage. Uh, in a later stage of the game where the brush will actually be following the terrain and not being like completely straight. Uh, so yeah, it, it looks just a little bit odd. So in the end, I decided to keep the uh, higher levels of the volcano more plain. So of course, over the river that we build, we have to build some kind of bridge. I just made a very simple bridge, to be honest. I didn't do too much decorating on that side yet of the map but there will be a path going towards a t-rex habitat which will be with some kind of hanging rope bridge over some kind of cliff idea if that makes any sense and i definitely got inspired by a picture i saw from from prehistoric kingdom uh, of someone that made a cliff with a hanging bridge as well that one was more of like a smaller uh, opening and cliff section so this bridge is definitely a lot bigger and a lot longer than that picture but definitely inspired me so props to the person that made that uh, that screenshot and and that scene in the end because it really looks super awesome i unfortunately can't remember who it was but I, i'm pretty sure that uh, you guys know exactly what picture i mean and if not then i'm very sorry but this is not props to me for my inspiration it was definitely from someone else that uh, was also playing in Prehistoric Kingdom. So the habitat for the T-Rex will be, uh, will be in different sections basically. So we have a more higher section and that one goes uh, more in the slope down to a lower area of the habitat. And that lower area will also have a nice river again because I really, really love to play around with the water in this game. And it just looks really beautiful uh, having that bridge going over a water section as well. So. It really looks amazing with the water in this game, so I really do love that. And the habitat will also be painted with more wetland terrain. And the trees and bushes I use in this habitat are from the temperate biome. So still the park around it is more in a tropical biome, but the habitat itself is more temperate. I don't know, I just felt like that would be the best fit for this habitat. But as said in previous episodes, we're definitely going to play around with different type of animals and different skins so we can play around with different biomes as well for the uh, different skins of all the animals since we just don't have that many animals in this case. In all honesty, I actually wanted to do a lot more for this build but unfortunately I ran into a lot of saving issues for the game uh, which means that every time the game will try to autosave, the game will freeze for literally like sometimes even 10 to 15 minutes. I'm not lying, 10 to 15 minutes each time. 
and sometimes the game would actually continue after that really long wait. But at some point, I just really had to force close the game and sometimes I actually also lost progress. So it doesn't really, uh, it didn't really motivate me to do a lot more at some point. It really started to bug me and I did obviously report this bug and I think they are working on a fix already. So it will be fixed very soon, but oh man, it, like imagine just having four times of a freeze for like 10 to 15 minutes. That's like an hour of waiting and I need my time. I need to do so many things at, at, the, at the same day. So yeah, it, it was just not doable to to do a lot more than that. But I, I do still hope that you guys will, will like the build because I, I just really love it with the volcano in the background. I think it looks really great. I also need to correct something that I mentioned in the previous video. Um, I, I mentioned that they mentioned in a devlog that the alpha support would end early in April. So I actually thought that the beta would be around the corner. Well, the beta is still around the corner, uh, but not in April. Uh, what they mean is that they will not be doing any more updates for the alpha so they can focus on the beta. And uh, that will mean that they will be just working on the beta, which will launch somewhere in Q2 of 2021. So somewhere between, what is it then? April and June. So something like that. So yeah, that was my bad. I, I read it like, oh yes, we're going to stop supporting the alpha. So I thought, okay, then the beta is, is coming uh, right now or something like that. So no, we will keep the alpha. So we will be able to still continue building in the alpha. Uh, but yeah, the devs will not be supporting the alpha build anymore, but they will be fixing or working on the beta. So talking about the beta, I did read a few more interesting things uh, uh, in their Discord server and also about the early access. So in the beta, there will be 14 animals and in the early access build, there will be 22 animals. And so far for the beta as extra animals, there are now being confirmed the Torvosaurus, the Pachyrhinosaurus and the Mammoth. And I'm super excited for the Mammoth. I'm really, really looking forward to that one. And this could also potentially mean that we would see a new biome being added because of the Mammoth living in a colder climate, right? Uh, but that's obviously just me guessing. Uh, but, but I don't know. I, I think it, it's a little bit common sense that we might be getting a new biome as well in the beta. Other than that, for the early access, there are also already some animals confirmed. Again, I read this on Discord. Uh, it's not per se from a dev. I saw someone making this uh, this nice sheet with uh, uh, animals that are confirmed right now for early access. So correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but that list is the Brachiosaurus, the Camarosaurus, the Dinocerus, Protoceratops, Triceratops, Cilodonta and the Smilodon. I really hope I did not ruin any of the pronunciations of these names. I'm Dutch and sometimes these dinosaur names are just super hard to say in English. So I'm doing my best here, but correct me if I'm wrong, of course, in the comments down below. But yeah, I'm very, very excited to, uh, to see more animals and dinosaurs being added in a later development, of course. But as I said, like the mammoth is definitely one of the animals that I'm really, really excited for. As well as the Swylodon, by the way, I'm also really looking forward to that one. And uh, still, my Parasaurolophus is my favorite dinosaur, but I don't think that one will be added in both beta or early access. So I'm guessing that will be with full launch, but it's all right. It's all right. I will survive. But yeah, the Parasaur is definitely one of my favorite dinosaurs. I just really, really love those. And in other news, the game will also be launching on the Epic Games Store. But do keep in mind that you won't be having any Steam support uh, So with workshop items on the Epic Games Store. So if you want to play with mods in the future, I would highly recommend to get the game via Steam so you can wishlist the game on Steam already. I will link that page in the description down below to check it out. So yeah, very exciting stuff coming up. And I can imagine definitely for the devs, it's just... Uh, huge step as well to also be supported by Epic Game Store. I think that's just really wonderful news, but definitely keep in mind if you want to play with mods, then you need the Steam version in my opinion. Uh, so keep that in mind if you're still deciding on whether to get the game or not. So yeah, exciting news coming up, exciting animals that are being announced. Do let me know in the comments down below what uh, animal you are looking forward to the most of the list I just mentioned. 
Leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed. And of course, let me know what you guys think of this Tyrannosaurus Rex habitat with a volcano in the background. Subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. And if you want to support the channel a little extra, you may want to consider to become a FayFam member with the join button of YouTube or via Patreon with the link down in the description. You can also find me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitch and all those other social media pages. So definitely go and check out the links in the description down below and follow me there as well. And yeah, I just really look forward to reading all your comments and I really hope to see you guys all in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye guys.